care, my name is Jane. I'm a dietitian at Second Harvest Food Bank of Northwest North Carolina. And today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to make your own hummus at home. So the first ingredient, most important thing is chickpeas. It's the same thing as garbanzo beans. You can use a can, just uh, rinse them, drain them, um, and uh, throw them in the blender. Or you can use dried beans. And dried beans, uh, you get a lot more bang for your buck. It's about $1.20 to $1.60 for a whole pound. Uh, just soak them and then cook them and you've got uh, about a, a pound of, of beans to use for multiple recipes. Uh, the next ingredient for hummus in this recipe is olive oil. And we'll just use a couple of tablespoons. You could really use any oil. Uh, we're also going to use a clove of garlic. Or you could use garlic powder and a little bit of cumin. So about um, a teaspoon for flavor and um, a tablespoon of lemon juice, also for flavor and consistency, and then about a quarter teaspoon of salt. I've already combined everything in here. Uh, a traditional ingredient in hummus is also tahini, which is a ground sesame paste, and that just adds a nutty flavor. You could use uh, peanut butter instead, um, or if that's too expensive, can't find it at the grocery store, you can leave it out. You could also add water in here to, um, to get the right consistency. In fact, you'll probably need it to get it to a smooth texture which I've already blended it all together, so it's ready to go. Um, and this is what the finished product looks like. It's just a, um, a great dip to have with uh, chopped up vegetables, crackers, to add on sandwiches. Hummus is a really easy thing to make, a lot less expensive than buying it packaged in the store. And then you get a lot more when you make it at home. And um, it's a, a, a good healthy snack and um, addition to meals. This video is a part of a nutrition collaboration between Second Harvest Food Bank and Cancer Services and the Forsyth County Department of Public Health. Hope you enjoy.